this is the way we used to play. Well, you know, years pass by, and then, you know, we get old, we get slower. <laughs> and we do stuff like maybe... start playing just as traditional uh, metal hardcore band until um, until we decide you know to do the mix between the Latin the staff percussion or whatever with the metal Before it used to be like the, the salsa musicians, they never were together with the rock musicians or I mean, music was very divided, you know. People who played rock with the people who played rock, and people who played jazz with the people who played jazz, you know. But right now, in the 90s, I mean, everything is coming, like, together. You know, it's just music, and that's what we do, all of us. I mean, if I do rock, the other one do jazz, whatever, it's just music. We're gonna, we're gonna try to explain a little bit a piece of one of our songs, actually, what we are trying to do with La Vinto. And uh, and one of our songs called Barlovento, we just took a piece from a, a salsa thing, and it, it just goes like original. It's like. And we just change it. Uh, we just change it into something like this. We always like metal, you know, from the beginning. That's that's why we start playing actually more hardcore. I think. That's the way we, we started to learn music, you know, how to play it. You know, it's like 
he got like 16 or 17 years, and he's like really rebel. And, yeah, I like this, you know, noise. Yeah. Then you go for it, you know. And little by little, we started to get more into what an instrument is like and how to play it. And uh, we started to, to develop, I guess, more more in our knowledge. And uh, I mean, we still like that noise. Let's leave that very clear. <laughs> but uh, I guess it's an, uh, it's an another step at the moment. You know? And we, we were playing this metal thing till we touched the point that is, we said, uh, Okay, now we have we have to make this sound different. We have a lot of influence from Mr. Carlos Santana. So, in between, when we get some time free, we do this and we play Santana covers yeah. bars in Amsterdam to make some money. As well, I mean, yeah. obviously, if you don't get money, you don't eat, and then you die like an asshole. So. You got it. <laughs> so, so this is not with the labirintho, but no. uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, basically it's like the same people, but plus a drummer. Yeah. What's the band called? Caracas Latin Band. Okay. You swing it, and dance, and have fun with it. Come on. You first. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Here, very often. Like twice a week, maybe. Just jump in. I'm wondering, why did you uh, come to uh, to Holland? Caracas is more like a stress. It, it's a very busy city, you know. We're talking about like 10 million people <coughs> living there with lots of highways, a lot of pollution. Um, it's a bit rushy, you know, and stressy, like every big city. The same if, if you would live in London, for example. You know? Uh, and, and somehow we we were looking first for a place that we could do what we like to do is music, live from it. And third thing was more like a social matter. We wanted to live in a much uh, quiet place, a place that we can always focus it on music, you know, and not like ah, oh, gotta do this and I gotta do that, you know. And so that's why you chose Amsterdam. Yeah. How did you discover Santana? How? But to be honest, in the beginning when I started, I, I always heard the name, you know? The Carlos Santana, Carlos Santana, yeah, yeah. And I saw the Warstock film, you know, with like... <laughs> and all that stuff. Uh -huh. uh, but before that, I never really went seriously into his music, you know? But by, by the time that I started to grow up more as, as a musician, and went like, yeah, this man really has it, you know? And it really attracted me. And then I met these guys, and, and it's like it became closer, the whole thing, you know? And what I love most of that guy is that he does with very simple figures and notes, he does beautiful things. You know? And it's what music is all about. Now I'm going to present the uh, 
Kule Puyas. You know, they are typical drums from Venezuela, originally from Congo. This is our tradition and their tradition, their tradition as well. The interesting thing about this drum is like, you can use different, uh, let's say, tune. You know, it goes up and down, like. Hello there. Now we are in Armagh. Armagh, yeah? How do you pronounce that? We are going to uh, a place called I uh, Pop I, and uh, we're gonna just do a little performance over there, just traditional stuff, to give some promotion to the album Priority. And here we go. Going back to Venezuela? Oh yeah, it's planned it's already. That's one of one of the dreams as well to come back there, you know, like but proud, you know, like yeah, we went there, and we fight for it, and we spent a lot of time, and now we have, it, and we are back, and we're gonna show you what we did in the last four or five years. Really worked out. 